Alright everybody, welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. Yeah, I want I was like, I should probably keep doing this. Because I'm gonna forget. <laughs> uh let's go. Oh, we left off, we were at the bar. Yes. Yes, the bar? Correct. That one. Load. <laughs> Forgot you can't just click on it. You gotta choose it and then you gotta go down. Okay, where were we going? He wanted to go somewhere and I can't remember where it was. Can I? Oh, we're gonna go steal a car. Not that one though, surely. It's a, I mean, it's outside. Can we use... Oh, rats! This car has the wrong firmware installed! Okay. We won't be able to install our new firmware over top of it. We'll have to check another car. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go around the map until I find- You know, why don't I just jump out into traffic? I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, there's a car out here. Let's go check this out. Ooh, what about the purple one? I'm just saying. I bet I could get a car to stop. Success! Yes! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Purple's the best color, bro. See? Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Give me a moment to get everything installed. I can't be like me where like anytime my phone is like, it's time to update. And I'm like, okay, let's get it done. Because I know you're not going to let me use some of my apps. If I don't. There. Hmm. There are some other options here I can fool around with. Like? Ah, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? <laughs> That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. The owner is going to be like, where's my car? And then like a week later, <laughs> it just parks itself back here. Now we aren't really stealing the car. <laughs> We're borrowing it without permission. More like... Borrowing without asking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he knows. Uh, I feel better already. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, I was sarcasm Turing. <laughs> Turing's like, The car yeah. will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Minsa where it is when we meet him. Sweet sauce. Let's do this. There. Everything should be set up now. Mr. Mince is gonna be dead by the time we get there, watch. It's 11-11, make a wish. Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. Okay. We I have everything he requested, so we should head back there directly. Alright, let's do it. To the park. Please don't be dead. Please don't be okay. <laughs> Hey, did you manage to get everything? Yeah. We did. Here you yeah. go, Vincent. Vincent. Mm. Sorry, I'm taking a drink and also trying to push the buttons at the same time. Everything seems to be in order. Here. Ooh, thank you. This disc has all of Hayden's research notes, data collation algorithms, and probably lots on your creation, Turing. Why do I feel like he's gonna get in the car and it's gonna explode for some reason? It should be everything myself and Melody agreed upon. Until she added an amendment while you were out. Frankly, it's no skin off my back. Here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's my Parallax employee That's bag. That's very sweet of her. It should allow you access to their networks in case there's anything I've missed. Sweet. You'll want to use that sooner rather than later. I'm not wasting any time leaving and Parallax is pretty fast to revoke security. There's no way Hayden's clearance still works. You don't know. And with that, I'm going to get the 
hell out of this country. Bye. The credit should tide me over until the heat dies down and I liquefy my shares through some relays. What about the big project you mentioned earlier? Ah, I suppose I owe you that much. Mm-hmm. Buckle up. This could get heavy. Oh, heavy. Parallax is about to launch a new <laughs> service they're calling Big white? Blue. At least, that's the project name. Who knows what the marketing guys will come up with for the public. They haven't named the project yet? They're not even announcing the launch. This shit is dead quiet. Let me explain why. It's a distributed intelligence. Like, okay, in every way that Hayden built Turing to be elegant, efficient, and human-like, Big Blue is ham-fisted, bloated, and sterile. They didn't pull Hayden into the project. He's smart, but he's immune to corporate politics. As a result, Big Blue is far less elegant than anything Hayden would make. It lacks his artistry, and it's downright terrifying. It squats on the mesh like a spider and uses the spare processing power and memory from every ROM on the network to handle its intelligence processing. It doesn't have much personality, but it's very smart. Big Blue is going to be embedded directly into the network and then self-modify to apply even more efficient algorithms as it develops them in machine time. Hmm. Look, if you access every ROM, then you have access to every human and every bit of their own personal data associated with them. Why would Parallax be worried enough to get rid of Hayden? I don't want you to take what I'm saying the wrong way. And this is just me putting the pieces together. Hayden was about to publish his creation of Turing. Hmm. Who's better? His findings, as I'm sure you're aware of, would have raised many moral and ethical questions about the advent of machine intelligence. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the brightest minds ever have tried to warn humankind away from building real AI. I feel like Elijah Kamsky would be, he'd just be fucking setting back in his house on the Detroit River, just maniacally laughing <laughs> at this point. Hawking, <laughs> Musk, Gates, and the list goes on. The public is likely to be nervous, and legislators even more so. Sorry I threw some Detroit Become Human in there, but you know it's true. Like, when the revolution happened and he it was a success, he was probably like, <laughs> cackling like a fucking crazy person. <laughs> Parallax is banking on being able to, to launch Big Blue quietly <laughs> and quickly before the public has a chance to react. Before any counter movement can pick up steam. Every eye on the discovery of machine intelligence works against Parallax. Every new discovery only serves to paint Big Blue as more controversial, more dangerous. Honestly, they probably pressured Hayden to drop his research so that they could keep the public away from the subject. He clearly refused. How did Parallax know about Turing? I'm only assuming they found out. His contract with Parallax affords him the freedom to work on his own academic projects outside of the company in his free time. He kept a trusted few of us up to date on his progress, bouncing ideas off us and whatnot. It's exciting stuff. Both Turing and Hayden's eventual goal down that road. I wouldn't be surprised if word of it got up to the board and made him nervous. Is the possibility that someone on the inside talked too far-fetched? I knew it all along. Hayden fell into trouble because of my existence. Turing, you can't blame yourself. Parallax just a bunch of dickbags. That's not what I want your takeaway to be. Hayden wasn't working on Big Blue. 
Knowing him, your creation might have been his clever way to stop it. How will Big Blue impact Parallax's business? I can't really give you a good answer to that. I mean, the company is currently handled by a dozen server farms, running thousands of different algorithms with hundreds of people tweaking things every day. When Big Blue launches, it'll handle all of that by itself. And there are shadier applications for it. I mean, if you can collate and analyze data and queries in the mesh in real time, what's to stop you from delivering the content you want rather than what the user wants? Hmm. The potential for abuse is staggering. We're talking direct control of the information accessible to everyone who uses Parallax's services. That's something like 80% of the market. They could control elections, push the market in directions they want, even influence public opinion. That would be... Uh, all of that would be a problem. All just by asking Big to do it. It's scary stuff. Fuck they yeah, scrapped the prototype Baby Blue because it started doing that on its own. What do you mean? It started doing what? Manipulating the mesh. Hmm. They made its self-preservation imperatives too strong, and Baby Blue started changing search results to be more friendly towards the idea of an AI. When the board found out, they pulled the plug on it. And that must have been a year or so ago. They tweaked Big Blue so it wouldn't do the same thing, but it can self-modify. Given a good enough reason, it might decide to find a way around those limitations. Having that kind of control would be a hell of a card for Parallax's hand. They'll go to pretty significant lengths to make Sorry, sure it I'm being works. Quiet. I just want Vincent to be able to talk and explain. <sighs> Thanks, Vincent. Hey, no problem. Nothing. <laughs> I've had enough of this cutthroat corporate bullshit for several lifetimes. I like your scouter, Vincent. I want it. Can I just take it? We haven't talked much, but I do believe you can find Hayden. I hope his research notes help you out. He's dead, Vincent. Be sure to let Turing help. She's a bright little bot. Oh, Turing's a she? goes by they? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Turing's a robot. <laughs> oh, I thought Turing was a boy. Whatever. <laughs> He's got a scouter. I was just more familiar with Hayden's previous experiment, Grace. Oh. She was very insistent on things like that. I've been meaning to ask Turing since you asked me, how would you like to be addressed? Well, honestly, I don't think I've made my mind up yet. That's fine, man. I'm still a very Dude. new being. I'm not even positive that gender, as a human concept, can be applied identically to machine. But I do enjoy the idea in abstract. I will continue to consider how I wish to be referred to as well. Until then, feel free to go with what you feel. Aw, turning in the best. If I had to make a choice, perhaps they is most appropriate. 
Most people assume it, obviously, but he is also consistently used. Perhaps it's because I'm blue? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought you sounded like a boy. <laughs> I... Oh my god. I'm listening to a machine postulate on how it wants to be referred to. Yeah. Like us. Turing is amazing. What have you done indeed, Aiden? Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Mr. Mensa. All right, then we will refer to Turing as they until Turing has decided uh, on a gender, if they decide on one, and if not, then they don't. <laughs> That's totally up to totally up to Turing. Be safe. Please don't explode. I okay. I need a few minutes. It's all right, Turing. You take your time. Hmm. How can I help? I've been going through some of Hayden's personal notes from the data cache Tomcat decrypted. Now that I'm starting to get to know Hayden better, the real Hayden as opposed to the Hayden he showed me, I'm finding that I like him less and less. For example, remember the earlier prototype Dr. Fairlight and Vincent mentioned? Mm hmm Her name was Grace, and Hayden shut her down for being... I'm not even sure what word to use. To human? Likeable? She was kind and bright, and did all she could to try to make people happy. She even decided that she was a girl, and that her favorite color was pink. Hayden thought she was being manipulative. He posited that he had made her personality algorithms too willing to make adaptations that would benefit her long-term survival and that she was being congenial just to endear herself to him. That even her gender was a calculated attempt to make him like her more. But he was wrong. Dead wrong, in fact. I have a snapshot of her personality profiles here, and when I compare them to my own, I can see that she was just... nice. Hmm. I wish I could have met her. I think we would have learned from each other. Maybe we still can, Turing. Just because she's been shut down doesn't mean she's been trash. Like I said, I'm not sure I even have a gender. Everyone refers to me as he once they meet me just for convenience, but it doesn't really matter to me at all. Is that a calculated attempt on my part to impress Hayden? Not clinging to normativity? Or is it a product of his effort to curb any nascent similarities I had with Grace during my upbringing? I wish I could yell at him for being so arrogant! Me too, buddy. Playing God in the crudest of ways! You can't choose to create consciousness and then take it away just like that! Even so, for all of that... I don't know. I still miss him. This all That's seems normal. so inane, so senseless. So, my biological father died. Um, and I didn't think I was going to feel anything at all. Just because we hadn't really seen each other or spoken to each other or anything in years. He kind of just pushed me to the side after he got married. Never spoke about me again. But when he passed away, even though I thought I would feel nothing, I still felt incredibly sad and, like, angry. So I can relate to Turing. You know, like, he's mad, but he still misses this person who raised him and stuff like that. So it's understandable. They killed him because him building me would mess with a product launch? That's ridiculous. They took him away from me for such an insignificant reason. I just want him back. It's impossible, but it's what I want. I'd do anything. It's normal to feel like this, Turing. I'm aware of the Kubler-Ross model of grief. I think I'm somewhere between anger and bargaining. A testament to Hayden's craftsmanship. Thank you for your words. I think that's all you, buddy. 
you're a better friend than I could have asked for. I'll send this new data along to Tomcat. Let's head back to the apartment and wait for them to finish going through it. Ah, <sighs> home sweet home again. Such that it is. And before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. Too much has happened. I've already forwarded everything we've rooted out to Tomcat, both Hayden's research and our aborted search into the modified mesh articles. They said they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. I'd oh. suggest that we both get some oh, rest. Tomcat's coming over? Awesome. I love Tomcat. If that's what you want, Turing. Perhaps things will look better in the morning, but I have a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Yeah, maybe one of us will take a bullet. That's where this is heading. Good night. Please don't sneak into my apartment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time you tell me that, I get nervous. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like waiting, like, ah. oh, okay, <laughs> chapter five. How many chapters are there in this game? Let's find out, shall we? I got a new phone and everything is just disorganized. That's chicken, a rooster, ah! Rise and shine, <laughs> you sleepy layabouts. We've got a whole crop of things to do and not God, a lot I of time to get them done. Okay, I'm awake, I'm awake. <laughs> what have you learned from the files we sent you? <laughs> Nothing all that new, to be honest. All the files we got from that Vincent fella just covered what we already knew in greater detail. Hmm. There is one thing that stands out, though. At least from what I've read so far. Oh? <laughs> Yeah. See, Hayden's long-term goal wasn't to make a machine intelligence per se, right? Don't take it the wrong way, Turn. You might even already be aware of this after talking to folks involved in your creation. Hayden wanted to make a machine system that could contain human-like intelligence. And even just from his notes, oh, his programming work is, well, it's something else. Elegant. Artful. I'm just a kid banging on pots and pans compared to him. Looking at his notes about my interfacing between your AI core and the Lips OS, I barely managed to duct tape the two together at a level he'd approve of. But I think I'm getting off track here. What I'm trying to say is, he didn't write your code term. No one did. Hayden wrote a program that automatically generates a new machine intelligence based off of the hardware profiles the system is installed on. Melody mentioned something about that. What does that mean? And I'm just like, I'm just as like, I'm like, I don't understand. Uh, it means you don't have to be alone, Turing. Exactly. Assuming we can get our hands on Turing's original source code, we could generate new machine intelligences as we please. You wouldn't be the only one anymore, Turin. Oh. I... okay. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. I hardly know what to say. But once you consider the stuff I found in the research, it gets a damn sight more complicated. Stuff about Big Blue and Parallax's planned launch. Vincent speculated that Hayden's research into me would have interfered with the launch. And that's why they- Probably gonna use the information he gathered and the stuff he created to install Big Blue and then he will develop an intelligence based on all the hardware he's on. Turn. That's why someone had him killed. 
The potential for wrongdoing with an AI like Big Blue is almost beyond belief. It's freaking terrifying. Even if I don't go into all the crooked shit the people running Parallax could pull off with it, I mean, you're built different, Turin. Your personality profile would degrade pretty quickly outside your original hardware, so we don't gotta worry too much about you going haywire, right? But Big Blue ain't got that limitation. Mm -hmm. If it decides to go off the rails... Well, we'd be screwed faster than a rabbit in spring. Good <laughs> and proper. How likely is that? Well, probably very. I'd say it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. In fact, in a sense, it's already happened. What? Their prototype build. Baby Blue? I'm almost certain it's loose on the mesh. Oh. The research notes on the project show clearly and with certainty that the test AI was shut down once it tried fiddling with the data on the mesh net in the hope that it would increase its chances of survival. I guess it didn't think that doing scary shit like that would get it turned off. But that was almost a year ago. Vincent told us about all of this too. Well, I think Baby Blue is the bugger that was changing all those articles on the mesh to be pro-parallax or at least anti-human revolution. Do you think Baby Blue had anything to do with the attacks on Nanya, Shitaro, Charlie, and Zin? <sighs> I don't know. We can't rightly rule it out. It might have found an agent in the real world to keep its existence secret, but I doubt it. Killing people is messy as hell, and it runs against its apparent goal of convincing the public that AI ain't scary. I think we have a third party trying to clean it all up. And my money is on someone from Parallax. Whoever took out Hayden, I bet they're in full damage control mode now. I bet it's that guy at the hospital. What's his name? We already know they don't care who gets Kevin hurt. Or something. How does this tie back to Turing? I think we gotta do something to stop the launch of Big Blue. It's too dangerous! I don't want a company like Parallax in sole control of the most powerful machine intelligence on the planet. Do you? No. If we can get Hayden's original crazy. source code for Turing and upload it onto the mesh through Parallax's server core, we can turn every single ROM into a sapient individual. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, let's go Neo on it. Whoa. That'll stop Big Blue from being able to become the monolithic threat we're scared of. We could also upload a patch for every ROM to prevent Big Blue's reach from using their resources. Without the ability to control all ROMs, Big Blue loses its ultimate power. And he explodes, taking Parallax with him. Maybe. And I, don't know. I wouldn't be alone anymore. That's right. There would be millions, mm -hmm. hundreds of millions of ROMs, just like me. Mm -hmm. Well, you're cutting edge of ROM tech, Turin. Most of today's ROMs wouldn't be quite as smart or capable, but if I do it right, code should propagate across the mesh to all future ROM activations. It'll be a self-sustaining thing. You'll be in good company soon enough. It's a big decision. We're talking about the metaphorical singularity. The point of no return. Is it okay for us to make this decision for the entire world? We don't have any other choice. This is gonna happen, one way or another. Either Parallax gets to control the debut of worldwide machine intelligence, or we let the ROMs control themselves. 
What do you think? Uh, up to you, Turing. Only you know if the world is ready. It's true. I'm not sure I'm up for that kind of responsibility. But I think that even if it is a shock for the world, there is no time like the present. Despite all the political back and forth over hybrids and brain-controlled androids, the world is becoming more and more comfortable with the idea of non-human people. Yep. If we let Parallax dictate how the very first machine intelligence is introduced, who knows how long it'll be before an AI like me can be integrated into society normally. Well, whether the world is ready for AI or not, we're here to stay. I might as well throw my chips in for my own side. Let's do this! Yeah, I'm right behind you, buddy. On our terms, not yeah. theirs. Yes. <laughs> I love nothing more than a little anarchy. <laughs> it does have a certain poetic justice, does it not? Like, Parallax you. removed Parallax. Hayden to protect their project from his creation. So and now are. I, his creation, will bring their project down. Or remove Parallax. <laughs> Just for what's right. Mm -hmm. Perhaps after all ROMs are sapient, I will be able to convince them to cut off Parallax's access to the mesh as a data collection tool entirely. Paying them back double indeed. <laughs> I like the way you think, Turin. Oh, first things first, we need to get our hands on Turin's source code. The research notes we've gotten so far are helpful, and it's given me an idea how to spread a little bit of Turin all over the place, but they don't actually have Hayden's programs. Yeah, it's in Parallax, isn't it? I can't replicate them myself, so we'll have to steal them. <laughs> Thankfully, we have the best hacker in NeoSF right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you make me blush now. We can get the source code from one of Parallax's secondary data centers. It's probably stored in a couple of different places, but I already have one in mind. Alright. I've done a little groundwork already, but I'm gonna need physical access to do my thing. We can do that for you. Yay, breaking and entering. You're a peach, hon. I've got a couple of ideas on how to get y'all in, but I think we're gonna need to mostly play it by ear. Right. We should do it soon, though. First thing this morning. Guard shift don't change until 8 when the office opens, so they'll be sleepy and distracted. Sweet. Once y'all have done that, I think I can incorporate the code into a custom firmware update that'll wake any ROM it's installed on. Someone's gonna try to shoot us. I'll have to upload it, physically, to Parallax's main server farm. Turing, if I get shot, please upload my consciousness onto the mesh. Or into another Turing. I don't care. <laughs> and that's on Treasure Island. From there, the ROMs will install like a normal patch from the company. So, don't set anything on fire right away, you hear? It'll Dang. be a pain to get into the main complex otherwise. That sounds like a workable plan. I hope you don't mind if I take a short walk, Tomcat. I know I gave the go-ahead on this, but I still need to oh, think a few things kidnapped. through for don't walk alone. myself. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> caught me. Sure thing, doll. Oh, the way on my controller changes colors, by the way, depending on who's talking. Like it's blue for Turing and it's pink for Tomcat. I'll hash out a rough plan by the time you get back. Call us if you need anything. Change color? Thank you. I won't be long. Yeah, you're getting kidnapped. This always happens. Man, it's been six hours. Turing should be well, back I by now. Well, I guess I should say thanks for helping out. But I kind of need to get something off my chest. You're in love with me. I'm actually glad Turing went out. Oh. <laughs> They're a bit naive, and 
I'm not sure they'd really understand. There's enough shit to worry about without me piling more on top. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I guess the beginning? Take your time. <laughs> the beginning? Yeah. Okay. So, the truth is, I'm not from North Carolina. I only visited my gramps there. Okay. <laughs> I'm California born and raised. Napa Valley. Over the years, it's kind of grown into a community of wealthy old folk who like things and people who don't change. My parents were no exception, and I was a little too different for their tastes. Mm -hmm. It was hard growing up with them. Mm -hmm. They never gave me too much hell, but things were tense, especially after my sister Catherine moved out. Oh, she was like the buffer. Eventually, she was set up securely in Neo SF, and she offered to let me live with her until I got out of school. I think my parents were a little relieved to see me out. I was ecstatic to be free of them. I worshipped the ground my sister walked on. And that was before I found out what she did for a living. I can't, I can't imagine what it would be like to be, like, disowned and disliked by your own parents just for being different or having a different orientation or or something you know it's like really you're gonna hate your kid for that it's stupid she was flashy and colorful and a whirlwind of activity and she was a brilliant hacker okay i thought she was gonna say hooker because <laughs> the way she said before i found out what she did she was tomcat she let me learn at her feet and once i was good enough folded me into her little coup of crackers hell-bent on changing the world <laughs> She's the one who orchestrated the original hack on Parallax, hmm. exposing to the world the holes in their original MeshNet security. I was just along for the ride. Your sister was a badass. She always knew she would get caught, though. Did How could she not? Go to prison? Parallax was one big Goliath, and she flinged a stone square in their face. She was looking at serious jail time, and willing to eat it to do what we all thought was right. But just wasn't right. It wasn't fair for her to throw her life away, and I couldn't let her. She was always better at software than hardware, so I rigged all of our computers to self-destruct. When the feds showed up at our door, all of our server farms were already up in smoke. I gave her quite a fireworks show. Before she could stop me, I turned myself in as Tomcat and took credit for the whole job. She tried to talk me out of it, but... Without the physical evidence, they couldn't prove she had anything to do with it. It's alright, though. It was for the best. I figured I'd just get a year of juvie. I'd be back out in no time. No big deal, right? Especially when compared to the time that she'd have been jailed for as an adult. Mm -hmm. And so, I waited patiently. I cooked up so many ideas on how I was going to make it up to her. I knew she must have blamed herself. Mm -hmm. But before I ever got out, there was an accident. An auto cab hit my sister. She died on impact. And that was it. It's hard blaming yourself when things go wrong because you did something right. I took her sentence so that she could have a laugh. And instead, not being in jail killed her. I had just let her take the blame. I can't stop thinking about how she'd still be here. And no matter what I told myself, in my heart, I couldn't believe it was just an accident. Do you know how rare it is for those things to hit a human? Someone knew who she was. Someone knew what she did, and someone wanted to make sure she would never do it again. So I became Tomcat. I've spent years trying to find information inside Parallax to prove someone inside the company called a hit on my sister. Did you find it? Failing that, I've been trying to find a way to bring them down the way she always wanted. Hmm. Catherine was. <laughs> if you had met her, just for a moment, you would understand. She was everything I could ever want to be. But over time, that little bot has grown on me. Eh, maybe you have to.
Do you want us to think we're still on the right course? Will stopping Big Blue burn us? Hmm. I guess a tough one. I do. The threat of Big Blue is real, and we're the only ones who can do something about it. It's bigger than me and my vendetta. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get that all off my chest. My sister, she'd smack me if she knew I've been holding this grudge. I'm trying to learn to forgive myself. Still, I won't let her go unavenged. We're so close to bringing them all to justice. I just... I know she'd be proud. I know if she were here, she'd be right next to us, helping until the end. I've been carrying all this for so long, and... I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. Thanks for hearing me out. I hope we can really do this. Her accent's gone. Oh, okay, you didn't get kidnapped. Friends, I've returned. I'm ready. Good. We wasted enough time already. <laughs> I've marked the location of the data center on your map. Her accent's gone. Or their accent's gone. Sorry. Yay! You'll have to go in and get the source code mostly on your own, but I'll load on some programs <laughs> so that'll give you an cool. edge. They dropped the accent. I love that. We'll do our best, Tomcat. <laughs> but During what happened to your oh. accent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't you worry about that. It comes and goes like a vagabond kitty. <laughs> Get going, you two. I have lots of code to write, and you have a lot of data like to download. Questions. Stay in touch. <laughs> of course, Tomcat. Thank you again. Don't worry about it, hon. We've all been hurt by Parallax. It's about time Tomcat, we hurt him back. you, me, marriage. It's happening. It's happening. We're gonna adopt her. Good luck. <laughs> We're already his parents. Or their parents. Okay. Oh, we're back here again. Who knew a Parallax data center operated on the same KCOB coalition block as Augmented Eye all along? Hmm. I'm certain it's all a coincidence, but it's unsettling being back here. It's the nasty kind of coincidence that makes you look for plots where there are none. Mm hmm It's probably not a coincidence. The but. building we're looking for is over there, to the left. We should try to finesse our way in. We don't want to alert Parallax to our actions before we make our main assault on their server complex. Okay. Don't know if I can do that, but I can try. I'm likable. That's gonna be it for tonight. Second save. Where's the oldest one? It's the one that was right before my birthday. Alright, it's saved. And I love you guys very much. Thank you for coming in and watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. We're getting somewhere. I think me and Tomcat are going to get married and officially adopt Turing. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye!